gon' celebrate. We gon' celebrate. So, what made you decide to go for the like radio format instead of just a regular track by track? <laughs> Actually, um, kind of like my whole life, I've had the same voice since I was like two, mm -hmm. which is kind of weird. And everyone always been saying, um, I could see you on the radio like that. I see you. Late night trying. You know, like that. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> yeah. It was giving me like late night jazz vibes. I was like, mm -hmm. this is stuff you be hearing when you coming home late as fuck. And you're like, what? But it started off with uh, Joy. Mm -hmm. And the song to me just sounded like a song from the 70s. Mm -hmm. and, um, like the radio station, and I was jokingly just added uh, the radio voiceovers just to make it uh, kind of cute. Kind of like how the whole slam poetry mm -hmm. thing, I just like doing stuff like that to make it, to push in a different space, uh, type of mind. And, and I accidentally ended up making the whole project that way, because it turned into, okay, what if I make a commercial now? Uh -huh. What if I make these, these little interviews? Mm -hmm. So it happened by accident, like I really didn't plan. Like, oh wow, it all came together because yeah, it, it like, works so well. That actually brings me to your next part. Why did you make Joy the first try? Well, it was the first song I did. And, um, I did that song like right after New Color came out. And mm -hmm. Because uh, I was, the reason the project's called The Good Side of Things is because uh, my friend who was murdered, his mom, uh, she started this whole program to get money to help fund kids to go to college and to get out the streets and she was just and I was asking how can she keep going through all the pain she went through and she was just like you just gotta look at the good side of things mm -hmm. and that kind of inspired the whole track of joy you listen to the first verse you know what I'm saying uh, and a couple friends died and, and you, gotta keep, you gotta keep moving mm -hmm. and you gotta look at the good side of things so that's kind of how that came about. Okay that's solid. So Something I noticed like throughout the whole project is you play a lot more with like the vocal arrangements mm -hmm. and I was like, I really enjoyed that. So it made you have so much of the like layering and there's a lot more like background, like singers really doing a lot more instead of just like, yeah. the, like chorus repeat. So like what made you go that way? Very uh, experimenting. I was, like this is the first project where I'm singing yeah, every single I song. Yeah, I was noticed that. I was like, what's on everything? I was like, okay, you're doing a lot with your voice. Yeah, it was like. That, that was just kind of scary to think about. Because mm -hmm. the closest song I came to singing was Make the Change. Mm -hmm. Like, that's it, nothing in my discography is me singing. But, uh, so, kind of me and Angelina, me and Angelina, we had like, probably like 15 shows this whole summer. And she was just here all the time. And we and she would just, uh, we just jam out. I'd play uh, some tracks. And she would just start singing and just edit that. Mm -hmm. So, mainly just working with singers. On the album was singing, I had uh, Angelina, or Ange the Alien, sorry about that. Brihanna, Brihanna, Daisy, um, excuse me. We got so much. Uh, Joe Paradise, and we was, they just jam out, and like, they just really? love to sing. I was, and I was just, like, this arrangement is so fire, yeah. like, it feels so like organic, and it goes so well with everything. Yeah. I was like, did you really like think this up? Like, um, what? What would you say the vibe of the overall project is? Cause you kind of touched on it in the beginning, like it's like that, you know, low <coughs> type vibe, but like, put it in a sentence. I think it's a real summer, like hang with your friends, be outside type of vibe. That's what I kind of wanted to do, like mm -hmm. hang out with friends. Like when we shot the sun, shine video. Definitely. Like the whole project is like being with your friends, cause that's kind of how I've been all summer. Just being like the people I love. That's so, so pure. Mm. All right, okay, so for Smile More, my first question was, what was it inspired by? Because it's like a very, like, it's a very cute and like lovely mm -hmm. song. So like, any specific inspiration? Well, I, uh, the first person, I don't think people understand that, that song is not about like love or anything. It's actually about um, conquering your dreams. Because uh, I know I tend to uh, beat myself down like that. I don't know if I'm gonna make it and like this music thing. And just looking in the mirror and just telling myself, you gotta keep going. You just gotta. And just trying to make myself happy and smile more. Mm -hmm. So, uh, just what inspired that was just uh, having aspirations and trying to make all my dreams happen. And that's where it, it all came about. Okay, so with this song, I notice a lot more, like throughout the whole project, your like sound itself is becoming so like recognized, like recognizable and like refined. And, 
It's like in all of your projects, like I noticed it, but I feel like in this one, it's like very much the instrumentals, the vocals, I'm very much like, this is like John sound. Like, that's dope. Like, it sounds <laughs> like, I don't know, it's more of like, this is John sound, this is his specific vibe and everything, and it's yeah. becoming very carved out, and it's like so cool to see that. Like, out of all of your like projects, yeah. at first it was like figuring it out, and then it was like becoming Yeah, it was specific. a lot. Of that. So, what I wanted to know is like, how do you how have you seen that journey of your sound to here from the beginning? Wow, that's a crazy question. Uh, so starting off, like I kind of grew up on like all types of music, and with the first uh, EP, which is still on SoundCloud, don't listen to this trash. I think it came out 2015, but I was like experimenting with all these different genres because I just love so many genres and. That's why I like from True Art, it's like all over the place and mm -hmm. the same thing with True Love. And then No Color, I started to figure it out, like mm -hmm. how to mix everything into one and this one, like I kind of figured out how to do every single thing I love mm -hmm. into like one sound, which makes it, I don't know what to call it, the Johnny Lama sound, I yeah. guess you say. <laughs> so yeah, it definitely was a journey because it was all over the place, but I finally got it together. All right, so. Uh, and Smile More, it had a more of a softer rap, a better, a bit more low key compared to like the slam poetry and the more like pushing heavier vibe. Yeah. So how did that compare between the two? Well, no color, like it was so much, way more like emotion because that, that was uh, the whole racing thing. That was something that I've been building up for the past ten years of experience I had growing up, and I kind of just let it all loose on. Every yeah, song. It felt a lot yeah, it like, was, this is purpose, this is what yeah. I'm trying to do like in your face about it. Yeah, it was very it's just more yeah. like Yeah, it's just more chill. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's just more chill, just trying to uh, It's more made for like you know, like I was saying earlier about being with your friends and stuff. I didn't want it to be too crazy or anything. So that was the situation going into that. Alright. So for the little shout out interlude going into like the commercial and everything why well, have the shout out part like at all it was really cool to have like all the different like artists coming in i was like oh yeah. shit <laughs> like, i was like it was really nice and refreshing to hear other people that we listen to yeah. here as well it feels a lot more like that like old friend vibe mm -hmm. you know so like why have that for well just because like there's not a radio station that that doesn't like have Oh, this is Cardi B and you're now listening to or like every radio station has like a bunch of bigger artists shopping out the, the radio station. I was just like, yo, what if I just get all my favorite artists to, to do this? So yeah, that was cool. I'm, I didn't think people was actually gonna do it. Like everybody was down. And kind of going off of that, like your favorite artists and everything, <coughs> you're like connected with so many like Baltimore artists, like just throughout and you have you like your hands in so many different things. Mm -hmm. Like, how does that feel? Like, you know, you have so many different friends and different sides of the music scene. So it's really like, how is that? Um, I don't really know how it feels, but I don't really think about it, think about it in, mm -hmm. in that uh, sense. But I learned uh, people, everybody has a different perspective on how they do things. So just working with other people, they might be able to hear something or do something that you would never think about. So I just love, uh, meeting people and seeing their way of thinking when it comes to their art. And that inspires me and like just being friends with uh, all these different people. Like it lifts my spirit up, it helps me to keep going. That's my motivation. Like like how Julian is doing a world tour or uh, Muggle Queen is doing all her uh, so far shows. And like, it, it's just inspired me just to see all of that. So definitely. All right, so with the d rag commercial, where did the like, <laughs> commercial ideas come from? Like, Yo, that it was, was just like completely out of the box. <laughs> so, it was uh, me and Candy was chilling, uh, or Candy, Apple, Apple White. And we was just chilling, and I was like, Yo, uh, I played her some of the songs. And I was like, I'm trying to make some commercials. And I was like, It'd be funny if we did like a sex commercial. Mm -hmm. And then, so we recorded the sex commercial. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, You know what? I don't want to be in the car with my grandma <laughs> or my mom and like, and then this come on, and this is it's gonna be mad <laughs> awkward. So then, uh, for uh, the next day, um, I had a session with uh, his name Kate Ella. He's part of CDN, and uh, and I was and it randomly just popped in my head because he had a do rag. He came in with a do rag on it, and I was like, "Yo, what if he did a do rag commercial?" Like in my mind, like the okay. whole session, I'm thinking that. So then uh, I had him um, just do these. Uh, 
these voiceovers and then I, uh, I scored it like I did heavy metal music and stuff. Mm -hmm. It just it was just so random. I never would have thought it would be I really like where it, it is. I yeah. was like, okay. <laughs> There's like four other commercials that didn't make it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah. You gotta drop you those at some point. They gotta be like the. So, oh yeah. So the guitar at the kind of end uh, was like really nice to the end of it and really electrifying for the track. But like, why I did it? Because it's just very much like. At the end of the track, like the solo or like. The, the solo. I just, I'm trying to bring guitar back, like guitar solos back to music because you rarely hear it now. Like, it's. When you ever hear like a guitar solo, it's like it's bad. If it is in there, it's like really low key. So I was trying to bring that back. And it, uh, it's more so, I usually add guitar solos thinking of the live performance. Mm -hmm. Cause that, that's the best part of doing shows. The, the solo part and everyone's going crazy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's why I added the solos in there. Okay. Um, so also at the end, you had like the breakdown rap kind of going back to like your harder yeah. sound and everything. Like what made you choose to go back to that sound? It was crazy because I was like, um, before that song, I was like, I kind of want one song that just, just slaps like real hard. Mm -hmm. And and uh, when I was recording with Angelina, uh, she did the doo -doo 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 -doo, like randomly, like, mm -hmm. and it fits so perfectly. And then I kind of pushed it to the side. Mm -hmm. And after I finished like the first half of the song, like it played like right after, and I was like, yo! Yo, I was like, yo, what is he just like, boom, like, you know, like, I was really, like, on it, and it was like, and I was like, okay, this is, this is definitely it, because I just wanted one song that just, like, uh, you know, the clout kids can, like, like, do the mosh pits, too. Uh-huh. So, yeah, I, that's kind of what I came That's pretty from. solid. Okay, and to end off with the strawberry moon thing, what is a strawberry moon? Like, what metaphor was you going for with that? Okay, so, all right, so, uh, Mother Queen, did an Instagram post of a strawberry moon. I mean, it was like uh, one of those space Instagrams that, that talk about, you know, space and stuff. And she posted on her story about how the strawberry moon was coming and it happens like twice a year, mm -hmm. something like that. And I saw it and I was just like, that's where the hook came. I was like, strawberry moon? Like I randomly just started singing that and I recorded it. Mm -hmm. Never thinking it was gonna be an actual song. Oh, word. So it happened and, um, I, I sung it in the mic, and then Nikos came, he played bass over it, and then I had this guy add some drums. Mm -hmm. And, and after, I had no idea what a strawberry moon like really was. Mm -hmm. And then I, uh, after I did the second half of the song, I like researched it just because like, I can't be half a song and I know what it is. Mm -hmm. So it was actually, um, strawberry moon is the time where uh, before, before uh, Europeans came to America to, uh, to kill the natives. Mm -hmm. It was a time where they used to take all the strawberries and it was time of family reunions and like uh, unity, like everyone That's just came cool. together, yeah. Uh -huh. And then, you know, you know, the European thing happened. So that's what kind of, with the second verse, is kind of like trying to explain all of that. So that's, that's what it is. Okay. So for Hold On, for Fresh Start, it has like a beautiful sound, like coming in. I was like, this is so smooth and just like, it reminds yeah. me of like a light, fluffy, but like still solid relationship. Like it reminds me of like the honeymoon phase, but not as like ditzy. Like mm -hmm. our relationships have been through it, but it's still like, oh, it's very like in love and everything. And you and Angelina, your voices are like complement each other so well. And I was just wanted to know like, how did y'all even like start making music together? Yo, that's crazy. I don't know, like it just happened. Like I think I said earlier, like, uh, I, I got booked for a bunch of shows mm -hmm. and I needed a backup singer and she was there and then we would just rehearse and then I would pull up a song we would just make a song and she would just sing on every single track like she was on every single song yeah no listen yeah, I was like, like I was like this goes so well like yeah I usually always like link with a singer that's like mm -hmm. on everything like True Love was Abby like mm -hmm. Abby's on every single song Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's just kind of how that happened and just worked. So it was so natural. Shout out to Ange, the alien. Dope. 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 <laughs> what started the song? Because as I was listening to it, like there's so many different layers to it and parts that I really enjoyed from like the sound overall, the concept, the lyrics, and like 
What started it first? Did you come up with the idea for the song, or was it a melody, or did you have like the instrumental in mind? Like, what built the song? Well, all right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. My friend, uh, the song's about my friend and her and her uh, boyfriend. Um, so she, she and this guy, they fell in love, but uh, he joined the army, or he joined the Marines, and uh, I was there for, I was there with her the whole situation, mm -hmm. and it's it's kind of hard to be in a long distance relationship, especially I can't imagine being with someone that's in the Marines. Like the Marines is the first to go when something crazy happens, mm -hmm. so. And just being with her in that whole situation and just hearing her out, it just like, I just wrote the song really for her. Mm -hmm. And it just came out the way it did based off uh, the emotions that we had in our conversation. And all of that, so that's kind of where the whole song was based on. <laughs> Next to your single, Sunshine, which everyone loves and is popping, go stream it right now. Um, once again, like, how was it built? Like, what started it off? It's crazy because uh, that song was originally a slow R&B song. Yeah, we had this slow R&B song. Uh, I had the hook already and like everything planned out. Then Mason comes, he uh, gives me these drums and changes the whole... <laughs> Leave all of that, we not cutting nothing out. <laughs> Basically, comes, she gives me these drums, mm -hmm. and I was just like, as soon as I heard the drums, I was like, Woo! I was like, you already know something. Uh -huh. And it just turned into this, like, this fun, fast, uh, what you call it, house, house, pop, jazz type of mm -hmm. thing. Parts of it I can see as house. Yeah. Yeah, so that is, I never would have thought that song would have came out the way it did. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy about it. Okay, I was just about to say that like the drums in the background like are a really nice touch. Especially at yeah. the end. I was like, oh snap. You know the conga part? Mm -hmm. like, yeah, we just recorded that like two weeks ago. He's fine. Yeah, shout out to Delroy. He's on he's on the congas. He also does all my live shows on drums. Alright, so then the um, next part. Oh yeah, the fan love interview. I was just gonna say, like, that was adorable. Yeah, uh, shout out. Everyone, because I made an Instagram post on, I was just like, who wants to be on my album? And then like, I picked the first top five people. So the first five people that responded, and yeah, so that was that was really dope. They they, they haven't heard it yet, so I'm, I'm that's excited. That's so cool. That's cute. Yeah. Also, the jingle is adorable. Oh yeah, shout out to Joseph Parrish or Joe Paradise on that. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So dope. And the last track, Celebrate. It's like, it's a win anthem, and I really liked it. Like, we did that Friday, last Friday, in a day. Really? Yeah. I'm mean, grand by all his percussion instruments. Uh, I like Marcus with his guitars and his ukulele. Uh, and then I had a bass player, Mubba, uh, Mubba Queen bass player, his name is Susha, and we did the art skate show together, and we came real close after that. He came with his bass, and it was just like, we did all of that at one session, and it, it was so crazy. And then we shot the Sunshine music video yeah, right after that. Lie. Yeah, and then I get home, I get home, and then I get an email, and Neon Dream emails me of all his parts for, uh, for because I recently I sent Neon Dream just a guitar loop mm -hmm. for it, and he sent me everything back of the, uh, the talk box, and I was just like, what? And then after he sent that, like it just inspired the whole verse. Like mm -hmm. and I immediately recorded, like right after. Mm -hmm. So that song did. We did that in a day last week. What's the day? The twenty first. Yeah. I think that was the fourteen. No, that oh, was sixteen. That was, that was 16. sixteen. We did that all in sixteen, which is crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Y'all really okay? Um, I'll save that question for the very very end. So for the little like the get down breakdown, like. What made you add that? Cause I really like that, that's so cute. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, so originally I had a, a part for Muggle Queen. <clears throat> and it was just, uh, the part for Muggle Queen was the part was at the end. But originally the part that was at the end was like in 
the middle of the song when the get-down part was. And I, uh, I was like, I can't figure it out what I want because she couldn't do it. Her schedule was too busy. My schedule was too busy. So I just recorded this guitar and I was just like, dun, 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 dun. And then, um, and then that's when the bass player Sush came in and he just like laid down the crazy bass. I forgot the part was there, like he just freestyled the whole thing, like one take, like that whole bass line, he did that all in one take. Really? Yeah, like I did not edit it that's at all, like <laughs> so, yeah, so talented. And then I was just like, I don't want to just leave it blank, I kind of want to like, say something that, nothing too crazy, but just something to, to get people, you know, to move or something, that's just kind of where that, uh, that came from, the, get down, get here, so the break, get down, that's just kind of where that came from, so yeah. Really happy about that. Okay, so what did you take away from the entire project? Oh, that's a that's a dope question. I took away that I really, really do love my friends and family because this project wouldn't be possible without without Sean. And I took away that a lot of bad things happen in life, and you don't always gotta uh, take the negative route because of these bad situations. That's what the whole project really is about, the share of positivity. So that's that's what I took away from this project. And I hope everyone else takes away something good too. That's I mean fun. look at the title, like every title is yeah. happy. Mm-hmm. Good time, enjoy, smile more, celebrate, sunshine. It's all this. Yeah. You answered my other question. I was wondering uh, what do you want other like your listeners to take away from it that you just want? Oh, okay. So that's just wrap it all up. I don't want to thank people dab anymore. They don't, so don't do that. I'm late to the end. I just learned how to walk. Like, today. Why? Let me see it. Do it. No, no, no. Do it. Put, you know who knows how to walk the best? Hey, wait, come, come in the camera real quick. You got, if he rolls, you yeah. got to walk. You got to <laughs> He rolls so good. Can you walk? Because you just learned it. Like, I wanted to see it. <laughs> you not serious. Right? I was so serious. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Okay. This side of things, listen to it now or whenever you're free. At some point.